Police Commissioner Gary Griffith is today sending a stern message to gang members and affiliates as he says his officers will leave no stone unturned in their continued fight against crime. On Wednesday, Mr. Griffith raised the policing alert from amber to red, which means the already heightened police presence will be further increased as planned operations continue. The alert comes into effect as the TTPS tries to dismantle ongoing gang activities. At a press briefing this morning, the top cop urged all citizens to comply with the operations. No area could feel that they're so big and bad that if we arrest any gang leader, you feel that you have the authority. I have, I'll be, we'll be walking in with several vans known as what? Paddy wagons. And anyone who breaks the law, they, I've seen if they're if they in love with their gang leaders, they will accompany them. They will join them. Nobody has the authority to block roads. No one has the authority to take the law into their own hands. Having said that, I wish to give the assurance we will not profile, target, or, or um, any individual based on what they may have done. Everything that we are doing is intelligence driven. And the operations. Mr. Griffith said the nation is being held to ransom by only a few criminals. The situation we have here is based um, again on one or few, one or two, of just a few individuals, and I refer to them as punks. These individuals have continued to be the catalyst towards crime in this country, serious crime, heinous crime, homicides, gang-related activity. And they must in no way be seen to be, sim we must sympathize with these individuals. What they are doing is destroying our country and using young men to, to, for their cause. I spoke to several of these individuals during the operations we had over the last few days. And what I have realized is that they are so blinded by blind loyalty by these individuals, they, are, they, they don't care if it is they lose their lives. The commissioner said 27 people have been arrested within the last 72 hours, including gang members, as they follow intelligence-informed evidence to make their arrests.